there will be detrimental impacts on school children. The main route to the school is off a dangerous A road with heavy traffic. The children will be exposed to danger and high levels of air pollution twice a day. Some of the most dangerous pollutants to human health are non-tailpipe emissions, and these would still be present even if all vehicles were electrified, which is anyway a long way off. A recent paper by Professor Kumar at the University of Surrey states, the exposure of children to air pollution is associated with a lack of alertness and concentration, as well as bronchitis, stunted lung development, and an increased risk of long-term conditions, including asthma and other respiratory diseases. What you are proposing is the opposite of a safe route to school. Secondly, there will be detrimental impacts on local residents. Your response talks about ideas such as walking buses to get children to this inconvenient site. But parents will not want their children to walk this far on such a dangerous route. Parents will drive. They will park in neighbouring streets. Hundreds more cars will be on the road in peak times. Even if you provide parking spaces at the site, traffic will be brought to a standstill in Rygate. The impact on local residents will be severe in terms of parking, congestion, pollution and economic productivity. Thirdly, the proposal undermines your own net zero agenda. There is a greenwashing narrative associated with this proposal that the proposals will lead to a net increase in carbon emissions. The plans ignore the embodied carbon in the new build and the emissions from the associated transport emissions. It is a net carbon increase proposal and it undermines your own stated objectives of shifting travel to more sustainable modes away from car use and ensuring that new development is focused around sustainable travel options. These concerns with the new site far outweigh the concerns with the existing site. You say the current site is inappropriate because of safeguarding kitchen <coughs> size and the maintenance of an 800-year-old building. These issues can be addressed. There are ideas on the table to address the safeguarding points that you've raised, and parents anyway think these are less of a concern than the safeguarding issues associated with the new site. And it's entirely misleading to suggest that this building is 800 years old. There has been a building on the site for 800 years, but this one was substantially built in 1800 with additions in 1900. Plenty of primary schools function brilliantly from Victorian buildings. We stand ready to work with you constructively on addressing the concerns you have with the existing site. And we ask again, will you reconsider the decision to relocate primary school? Thank you. Thank you, um, Mrs. Mitchell, for submitting your petition. Dr. Mitchell. Dr. Mitchell, for submitting your petition. You've already received the response. And I reiterate again, Rygate Priory School cannot stay, unfortunately, in the current building. I'm sorry, it will be far easier for us if it could, but it can't, and I'm sorry that it can't. 